Yeah. I just, and that's kind of getting to my point about Bianca, how she came out and declared on a feed streak. Like, to me, this was the only kind of out of place segment just because, like, she, yeah, she came out and did her thing to promote the show. I get that. I get all of it. But it doesn't give me an inkling what she's up to for Mania, except which I think I have an idea what you, you know. Yes. Um, I was really hoping that we were going to have Jade Cargill come out. That's what yeah, I that wanted. Was- I really wanted to see that. And the only reason is because Jade still hasn't signed a contract, which I think that I, I've said it for, I don't know how long I've said it, uh, that I wanted her to remain a free agent so she could go from roster to roster. Cause I feel like of all of the people who could do that, she's the perfect one. Um, because then that would allow us to get her versus Bianca because realistically she should sign to raw um, because the raw women's roster needs help. SmackDown just got, um naomi tiffany stratton um electra lopez like they don't need (laughs) jade so um i I think she should go to raw but i would love to see her versus bianca and i think that bianca's due for a loss at mania no disrespect she was just talking about how she's been a three p at mania um and she can handle a loss and I feel like that would be a pretty cool debut for Jade and a, a really good way to solidify her as like a top girl in the company, if that's what they want, by having her beat a three-peat winner mm-hmm. at Mania, you know? Shout out to 